Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Alright guys, we're doing something a little bit different again because I wanted to do um, go back to my teaching roots. I, I love teaching makeup and that's really why I started this YouTube channel eight years ago. I mean like, damn, that's a long time ago. Um, and the reason is uh, I see a lot of very heavy makeup going on and Whenever I do have people going to apply for a um, position, for example, at MAC Cosmetic, I did makeup interviews, and I see that a lot of people are struggling with achieving believable skin, HD skin, if you want to say. So if you want to know how to achieve flawless looking skin in 10 easy steps, stick around. All right, I zoomed you a little closer, and yes, by the way, I it cut my own hair again because I haven't heard from my barber bag, so I was like, you know what, let me just do it again. And I did a little like slit line here in my eyebrows because guess what, the 90s are back. <laughs> I just haven't never had it. And I was like, you know what, kind of like looks cool, I think, anyway. So it's like, let's try it. If you don't like it, you can just grow it back. So let's start with what you would need to achieve flawless HD skin. And it all starts in the preparation. The best looking skin, uh, I always say the best looking makeup starts with the best looking skin. So if you have old uh, dead skin lingering around on your face, you cannot achieve that. If your skin is dry, dehydrated, patchy, all of that things, then regardless of if you want to put makeup on top, it will just not look good. So what you want to start off is with exfoliating. This is my personal favorite exfoliator of choice. This is the Derma, uh, Dermalogica Daily Micro Ex Damn! Let's try it one more time. It's the Dermalogica Daily Microfoliant. So what I like about this is this is a super fine powder. So um, like, do you see on my fingers how like it's it looks like dust? And this is really an exfoliant that you can use daily without causing too much damage and friction onto your skin and then i also use the lip scrubs from mac so this is just a sugar based lip scrub and you can just remove the dead skin on your lip now after you've done that you want to go ahead and of course moisturize now personally my favorite two are the ambre louise um le creme, le creme concentré Staple, it has been in my makeup kit for years. I have not personally uh, discovered one person who actually breaks out with that because it doesn't have any like uh, fragrances inside and sunscreen or stuff like that. So it's a really, really good gentle moisturizer. And then for underneath my eyes, I use Light for C, the Vibrancy Eye Cream. So this has a lot of vitamin C inside, it brightens underneath your eyes, and then also it smells really good. Lastly, for your lips, I personally love uh, Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream for using on the lip. It smells a little funny. Some people don't like it, I personally don't mind it. So next is uh, priming time. So what do you need for priming? I actually use usually the Refines on Treatment around my nose area for like pores to fill them in. I don't have any left right now. I don't find it. I thought I have one left and I don't know where it is. So I'm not using it today. But what I'm using is the skin base. What I like about this one, it's uh, texture smoothened. So anything that gives your skin of a smoother appearance is really nice. And then the 24 hour eye base. Now, why do I like this one? This is literally like super glue for any pigment. So anywhere you have creasing happening, like the smile lines underneath your eyes, maybe the frown line, anywhere you have those areas, I would highly recommend using just a little bit of that. It doesn't have any color, but your foundation will stick there and it doesn't move. So even if you, let's say you're an actor and, and you're talk and you have a lot of expressions, you don't have to worry that it, it, it creases too much over time. There might be still a little creasing happening, but that's when the makeup artist will touch you up, but you should be good for a couple of hours. So I'm using two pumps and honestly, keeping it simple, I personally just use my hands. So let me just put my mirror up here to And I use two pumps and I'm just starting and using a little bit all over. So now I'm using a 24 hour eye base. So I'm just using a little bit underneath the eyes here to really make sure nothing creases there. I don't really have creasing up anything happening. Sometimes a little bit up here. So just whatever's left. But you see, you cannot really see the product. All right, let's go into foundations. Now, 
I personally still want a flawless look. So I'm still using a high coverage foundation. I'm using Studio Fix Fluid from MAC. But now the importancy is what tools we use. Now what you would need is a kind of like flat top brush like that, beauty blender, that is dirty by the way, and tissues. And I'll show you what I'm using those for in a second. So I'm just using a little bit of my Studio Fix. Now what you want to do is you take a little bit and I take it off and anywhere where you have discoloration you start right there tap on a little bit of the product and then you just start buffing it now this technique is very time-consuming compared to just slapping on a cake and that's why also if you book a professional makeup artist who does makeup like this on you they will not charge you $30 all right this technique requires skill requires time so you'd better be all right with investing into this look but this is honestly the look that you see on many many celebrities red carpet events um, I mean like there is sometimes still times where you don't really have the time to do all of this and you know we as professional makeup artists we know our ways around it and also don't forget that there is so so many celebrities out there who have amazing skin you know amazing features they're Botox they are filled they're exfoliated they have like their esthetician taking care of their skin so there's not a lot we as makeup artists usually have to cover because they look pretty flawless anyways now anywhere you have more happening like more discoloration just dip with that brush so it deposits more product there so that's pretty much I'm happy with the first layer. Now I go in with my beauty blender and take off any kind of lingering product or maybe brush stroke that might be left. Now comes my little secret tip and trick tissue. Now you want to take it and all you want to do is you want to lay it on to the skin. Flat press it and then take it off. Now what it will do for you, it takes any excess off that your skin is not taking. So you want to take off pretty much what you put on almost and now we sandwich it. So we go in and with more foundation and then we go back into where we still see discoloration happening. And then we go back with the beauty blender. And again with my tissue and then we go on and I will do that continue on this side and then I also do the other side and then I will show you the next step all right now that you see I think I look pretty flawless um, but to push it a little bit further concealer now there is different type of concealers you can use like stick ones liquid ones um, now with that you want to go full coverage because you don't want to use a ton of product, but you want to get maximum amount of coverage. So I'm going in and literally all I do is I take it where the shadows are. So I'm not using like the full triangle kind of motion that we see a lot. So I'm using just kind of like where I feel I need a little bit more brightness, a little extra coverage. Skin looks good. Now, Beauty Blender. This little egg is honestly, and you know, there's other brands, Morphe and uh, Sephora and whatever, like they're all good. I just happen to have Beauty Blender and I really like the texture of the sponge because it gives a skin like finish to the product. Now the other reason why I like to use the Beauty Blender is because it absorbs. So I would never apply product with that, but I'm always just evening out with that. If I do this kind of technique, because it just removes any excess product, your skin doesn't need. And then we take another tissue and just press it in. And you go with your beauty blender one more time on top, just to really make sure that you don't see any mistakes. Now I'm taking a fluffy brush and some loose powder. This is Chanel loose powder. And you wanna set 
your makeup immediately where creasing could happen so for me that's definitely underneath the eyes right here above my brows and smile lines I recommend stretching the skin so like do weird faces because you don't want to set a crease so let's say you talk and then you smile and then you you let go and then you set it you already have movement happening so you don't want to do that so you want to stretch the skin immediately and set and really make sure you get that powder in there so you don't have to worry about then going ahead and move and smile because it's already set into place so for HD looking skin you do want to use um, bronzers that are super natural looking some of my favorites is the Chanel uh, Soleil Tone de Chanel what is a cream bronzer it's a staple it's I love this stuff it's just a great color but I also know it's very limited in colors for complexion come out with more Chanel <laughs> um, so for somebody who's light as like me it's great but if anybody who's like medium dark to dark complexion they don't really can use them others that I really like are the extra dimension powders from Mac now this one is limited edition who remembers this collection anybody alluring aquatic 2014 so it's probably not good to use anymore but honestly smells fine looks fine that's how I handle my makeup now the thing if you are from deeper complexion there is other brands I think Huda Beauty has some deeper that are like similar to the uh, Soleil de Chanel who have deeper uh, colors and I know from MAC they have the mineral powders in Sun Power what is like a reddish powder that will also give you a little bit of that sun-kissed look now because I'm light I can use just my favorite what is Soleil de Chanel now how to you how do you use that one now this time I use a buffing brush but this is actually a powder brush and I like to use still even though it's a cream a powder brush because it absorbs excess product so um, the natural fibers have pores like our rear hair and they will absorb excess product so I'm just going in with this brush taking a little bit and then you just want to kiss the high points with that and I'm using stippling motion so I kind of like press it into the skin and it's super important that you bring back some color to the skin because if you don't your skin will look flat and that is super unnatural so anywhere the high points is like above the brow chin uh, cheek nose and chin those are the areas you would want to bronze a little bit and then what you can do is also take a little bit underneath your jawline to further push that shadow and it makes your appearance a little bit more sharp you can see how this side gives me a believable radiant tan not artificial and in compared to the side the side looks like pale and flat now to blend this all together and set it I'm using the smallest amount and I'm talking the smallest amount of the loose powder and a brush and I kind of like use the lid to distribute the product and even kick off the excess because you don't want to have a lot and then you just want to set where you might get a little oily or sweaty but it's honestly it's just what pretty much is left in the brush that I'm pressing on top I'm not using extreme amounts all right let's talk highlighter because you might still want to look a little bit more radiant and a little bit more glowy that's absolutely fine but there's ways of how to do it now an itch sorry you don't want to use powder highlighters reason is they're too glittery they look like glitter on the face they look amazing they look great in photographs they look great for uh, Instagram they don't look great for HDTV trust me and my favorites are those the Becca uh, shimmering skin perfectors and the cover-up X drops now this is strong this is more believable so my recommendation get yourself the um, skin perfectors from Becca I love this stuff this one is champagne pop and so the way that I apply them is super super easy using my beauty blender so I have a little bit on the back of my hand get it into my beauty blender and then you just want to get it on the high points here the reason why I like to use the beauty blender is because it already gives me that skin texture onto the product 
so it doesn't look like a product that sits on the skin but rather than it comes from within the skin and I kind of do a little c-shape and I don't know if you can see this on camera I hope so but in person I just have this ever so lightly radiant to the skin that it doesn't look like product it just looks like my skin has a glow and that's what you want you don't want it to look pro like product so that's why you also want to use a product that is very close to your skin color that's why I like this champagne pop color because it's almost like my complexion color because I don't want it to be like you know a silver stripe on my face I want it to be just radiant and I hope you can see that let me just try to get a little closer do you see that little bit of radiance on the outer part super subtle but definitely makes a difference and then lastly you do want to set it and the reason is uh, you don't you want to get rid of any possible powdery looking area so all you do is take a little bit of your fix plus or whatever setting spray you prefer and then and don't do the whole for five minutes you don't need it and you don't want to have that much liquid on your face because you don't want the product to move and I'm just fanning it down all right and to finish off the look let me just do a little bit of eyebrows mascara and something on the lip and finish off the video see you in a minute all right guys I zoomed you out again and yeah this is the final look I think it's a really great way of knowing how to achieve this look and honestly it didn't take me that long I probably took me maybe like 15 minutes in total and uh, if you think about how you will achieve a believable look that's not that long you can definitely take longer especially if you really go and pinpoint every single imperfection um, but that's really just for advertisement when you do have like maybe like a skincare uh, that you advertise because you know how they advertise like you don't even need makeup they still have makeup on trust me and that was it by the way if you wonder what I'm wearing on my lip I'm wearing gonna love me from the new uh, Tiana Taylor collection with Mac if you have not seen my last video where I review the collection I will put an info box up there so you can watch that but that was this video I really hope that was something that maybe was very informative for you or um, you always wondered how professional makeup artists achieve this really flawless look without making people look caked up there is ways to it you know and that's why also not everybody can call themselves a professional makeup artist Apologies to anybody who feels offended, but if you're a makeup enthusiast, I love that. I'm sharing that with you, but please don't go out and tell people you're a professional makeup artist if you have never worked on set with uh, different people, clients, skin types, because you need to know a little bit more than just how to do a winged liner. But this video maybe helps you to achieve that next step to know more than just the average beauty enthusiast and if you like this video please go ahead and give it a thumbs up it really really means a lot and leave me a comment in the comment section I always love to read your comments now if you have not subscribed to this YouTube channel and then ring the little bell that will notify you whenever I upload but I usually upload 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on Friday now that was it if you do want to do me an extra favor go ahead and share this video with your friends family co-workers neighbors anybody who would love to see how to achieve HD ready skin and that was it I appreciate you so so much as always and until I see you next time stay safe and wash your hands bye bye